almost amazing to see how much you can do with mathematics. The beauty is that you can use very elegant rules to get a better understanding of real life. There was this dream I had to turn it into something practical and meaningful. My name is Sten de Witt. I was born in Valkensvaart, which is in the south of the Netherlands. It was a, a quiet town. When I was a little kid, I enjoyed playing outside in the woods. I was interested in, in plants and animals. I studied physics and after that I became a researcher. But I felt that something lacked in making it applicable to society never being really active in the creation of something that really had meaning. With a group of my colleagues, we were brainstorming about what innovations could we develop. One of my colleagues said, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could harvest the solar energy that hits our roads, they convert it to electricity. It was just an idea, almost a dream. Somehow it stuck in my head. And after a few days I went to my boss and I said, I think I'm, I'm going to do this. I think I'm a terrier. Uh, once I bit myself into it, then I'm not, not letting go anymore. From the beginning, people said, well, this is never going to work. The, the solar cells are not going to survive this. The panels could break or would be very slippery. We did a lot of tests on it. Could it provide sufficient friction for tires, for instance? It's not bad. OK, it's around 80, that's yeah. good. Does that transmit it, any light? No, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what we see here, it's doing relatively well, although we, we smashed it with uh, impact tests mm -hmm. and it's still working. That's nice. Yeah. We have to test it in the climate chamber, so we go from freezing and then again to high temperatures and back to freezing. The samples are here, as you see. Yeah. It's just above freezing level now. When you start with an idea like this, there are lots of people who think this is never going to work and it's rubbish and nonsense. Okay. If you let that criticism get you at an early stage, then you can never give it a chance. We found out that there were solutions that could work. Finally, we did achieve the first part of the dream. We installed a bike road. It has embedded solar cells which harvest the sunlight that hit the road. They convert it to electricity. It produced almost 10,000 kilowatt hours, enough for the average households in the Netherlands, which was more than we expected. When you ask people about solar energy, they think about solar panels on rooftops. We have more area in roads than we have on rooftops. So we have huge potential for electricity generation without disturbing nature or the environment. If we would be able to pave 30% of our road network with this type of technology, then we could power 8 million electric cars with the energy it provides. I've always wanted to do something that contributed to society in some way. This has a huge potential for the future and for renewable energy production. Hydrogen cars have been one of those things that has always been just around the corner. And now all of a sudden you've got Hyundai here, South Korean car maker, come out of one that you can buy.